Muslim. You are a Muslim. Sorry, I didn't hear you. What? Yeah, I'm a Muslim. You, 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 okay. What do you want to tell me about Islam? I'm not going to ask you questions. I will let you give me oh, some, like some good idea about Islam. If there's anything good about Islam. You want me to present a case for Islam? Like, you know, if you are speaking to your friend and you want to make her, uh, you know, convert to Islam, so what do you say to her? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'd go about... Uh, I haven't, I don't go around giving Dharma, but I've heard that you have a... Uh, yeah, your voice is cutting. So, okay, but okay. So, if I ask you right now, you as a woman, why you are a Muslim? Why you Your voice is cutting. Maybe you have many applications. Maybe you can close some applications. You as a woman, why you are a Muslim? Because I believe it's the truth. Why it's the truth? How you know? I've read the Quran. I've looked into other religions. They're not convincing. I've always been like a theist. And right. uh, do you feel lucky because I the think the miracles and the arguments around it convince me? Okay, miracles in the Quran. Where? <clears throat> Sorry. You said miracles in the Quran convince you. Which miracles? I like the Roman prophecy, the lowest form in the earth. The Roman prophecy? Okay, I don't know. As I know that the prophecy he mentioned, it happened after. Stuff like that. Yeah, but you see, the Roman prophecy happened after it happened. So if I say Trump is going to win 2016, that does not make me a prophet. You're a prophet. He made this prophecy. Sorry? You're a prophet. He made the prophecy about it after it happened. Didn't catch that. You say the Roman prophecy, right? You're a prophet, he says, after the Roman being victorious. The verse, so already they are victorious. So what is the prophecy? Do you say prophecy about something happening in the past? Read it. This is the hadith. It says that on the day of Badr, the Roman had victory over the Persian. So the believers were pleased with that. And then the following revealed, or the following was revealed. Alif Lamim, the Roman, have been defeated up uh, up to his saying, the believers will rejoice. So how this is a prophecy, if it is prophesying about something happened just a day before? Well, she's gone. Okay, Hatem, put your hand up. Yeah, she's gone. Prophecies. Put your hand up, Hatem. All right. Okay, Hatem, we will give you the question for you. Okay, friends. Why are you are a Muslim, Hatem? I am a Muslim because, first of all, I believe in God. Uh -huh. yes, first of all. All right. Which, which God? The only is it. Which God? Uh, the God of uh, the God of all of humanity, all creation, all this stuff. Which all which universe. which one? Which one? The God who he says about himself, the only God, the one God. That's why. Okay, you, you know, you said he is the one who says about himself, he's the only God. Does that mean the Creator? So why the Quran says there's many creators? Yes. The Quran says there is many creators. Yeah. Can you show me please the verse? No problem. Do you see my do you see my screen? Uh huh. I see. Okay, how Allah is the best of the creators if there's only one creator. Okay, wait. 
first okay okay you mean about uh, the word of khalaqna it means we right no 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 it says here the best of the creators yes yes true true that's right how he is the best of the creators if there's only one creator Okay, I'm going to tell you how how they or in Islam how they explain this verse when he says the best of creators. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Um, the God mentioned in the Quran, there is in in so many verses about when he says the best of creators, he mentioned to himself like I am the God. You cannot take me like a physical body he is different he is not one he is not two he is not even a number understand what i mean what does have to do with the best of the creators there's a creators how many creators there is when i use the word best in, in, one, in any one, in any language if i use the word best the best is about me comparing myself to someone else or comparing someone to others or even maybe a building like i say or maybe a land maybe a tree how can I say, or fruit, this fruit is the best of the fruit. I mean, there's many fruits, but this is the best. So the second I use the best, that is, that is proved the existence of many. Yes, yes. Probably. Okay, so how Allah, he says he is the best, if there is no others, is he lying? Are you there? What you are saying about this verse, it's completely true that God says it's of creators. Yes, yes, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Can you hear me, Prince? I do, I do, go ahead. Yes, yes, uh, that's right. And the verse says the best of... Yes, yes, he says the best of creators. Like, there is many creators, there is and many. the God is the best one. Yeah. Who is the other creators? Yeah. Who are they, the other creators? Surely, uh, we in Islam, we understand this when it's mentioned by Quran. It means we, we don't take the God as a physical thing, like he is one or two or three or ten. You understand? So he mentioned to him, uh, himself, he says, who are he? Sometimes there is verses in the Quran, he doesn't say like, I am. He says he about himself. But he says not, we about this is, himself. This is, not, this is not what you are talking about. You just say that there's many creators. That means there's many Allah. If Allah is just a God, and he is the best of the gods, well, that means you Muslims believe in nothing monotheism, believe in many gods. Because either there's one creator, or there is many creators. Which one? Truly... Yes, true. That's what it means, but well, we are as Muslims and the Arabic language, we take it in different uh, way. We don't take it like... No, you, you, cannot, you, is, cannot, uh, you cannot take it in different way. What do you mean? It says the best of the creators. How many creators there is? What different way? Is it up to you? I mean, the... the only one. Okay, okay. If there is only one, that means Allah he is, right. uh, is lying. Because if I say I'm the best student in the school, and I am the only student in the school, that means I'm lying. I'm giving myself a certificate. Yes, a strawberry. Yeah. Maybe strawberry can she say it. Go ahead, strawberry. What do you want to say? Okay, so, um, yeah, when it comes to the creation of the universe itself, he might be the only one. But creator, when you say best of creators, that could also refer to you and me. We create on a daily basis, right? We create ideas. We create other things. So when you say the best of creators, it's not like an entailment, but it's referring to the same creation. But as you see here in the verse, it's speaking about making, creating a human being. If there's any, any created human being beside Allah, when he's saying, after he says, yeah. I created this, talking about the embryo and the child, that means you are saying, mm -hmm. there is other creators who create babies too, and Allah is the best of the creators. Who are they, those who make babies beside Allah? I agree that when it comes to the ultimate creation, he's the only creator. I agree with you. But 
when it comes to create, just the word creator, that could refer to anything. It's not referring to just the ultimate creation. So you know, the architect if, that built my house. Okay, if I say, and if, I, him, if I say right? that the best I have to be from the same kind, and it have to be a fair, uh, you know, compare. I mean, so I like I compare myself to a mosquito. Is that what God he do? So I say I'm the best of between all the mosquitoes. I can uh, fly better, you know. So when we compare, we have to compare between the same kind. Like we cannot compare between a donkey and a tree. We have to compare between two donkeys or maybe two angels or two buildings. They have to be from the same kind. So in order, I say the best. That means there's many, and all of them they are the same, and I'm the best between them. So either there's many like Allah from the same kind, from the same qualification. Otherwise, if Allah comparing himself to, you know, okay, the bird, he make a nest. He make a nest. And the, okay. nest is, the nest is so strong to the point it can hold the eggs even if there's a storm. But that does not make the bird a creator, you know. And if Allah comparing him himself, building the universe to the bird, that would be funny. That would be an insult to God. So when Allah, he compared himself, and not only that, Allah is making a compare to a mystique. Look, according to the Quran, Allah, he make the sperm transform into a dead blood. You can open any translation you want, but the, the, the gentleman with us, he speak Arabic. So it says, we made the sperm into a dead blood. What kind of God, he claimed that he is the best of the creators. He say in such a statement that a semen become a dead blood. And since when dead blood become a, a, a lump and the lump of a flesh become uh, bones and then we close the bones. Is that what science says? So the God who is bragging about himself, he made many mistakes here. Proving to us that he is no creator. He do not know what he is talking about. And he is just somebody making a statement that doesn't make sense. Oh, if you want to answer, go ahead. So, like, I mean, I'm just going to address the scientific problem. So, do you use modern science as some sort of like yardstick to determine if scripture is right or wrong? Well, you are the one who said to me the miracle in the Quran. So, the miracle in the Quran you should speak of, according to Muslims, is scientific miracles. So, here we see the double standard of the Muslims. When they want, there is a science in the Quran. When they want, huh, science doesn't count. And here, this is a simple thing. We are not talking about going to the moon or to see what is behind the galaxies. It is something every school knows, and they teach you that when you are in school. It is simple knowledge. It is not really a secret how the baby is made. So nobody believes, and no scientist will agree, that and they have no reason to lie. It doesn't matter if they are Christian, Jews, Hindus, Muslims. Uh, semen will not transform to be a blood. That's false. And the blood will not grow and become a, a little lump. And the little lump will not become bones. It says we become bones. It's not only we made into, into, you see? So all of this proving that the one who claimed to be a creator, he does not know what he's talking about. Okay, okay, but when you are saying this, you know, it's so dangerous for you Christian, Christians when you say this. It's not making any sense. Do you find it? It doesn't make any sense if the gods say there is many creators. Well, my friend, only Same one who creates, sense. God the only in Christianity is the only one who created the universe. He is the only one who created Adam and Eve and no other creators. If, if the Quran here is saying there's false creators, I will say, okay, he's mentioning false creators. But no, because if it's false creators, he should not say the best. Because if they are false creators, then he is saying he is the best of false creators. In order to be the best, I have to be one of them. So if they are false creators, he is the best of yeah. false creators. God in Quran, he doesn't, he doesn't use the verb of I. Don't say. This I. is not what you are talking about. And yeah. here, actually, here you have, you find a lot of, uh, another problem. When Allah he used the word we, can you tell the people here why Allah is using we? What for? Why he keeps saying we? Because he 
because because he don't say I, he says we. He try to make uh, the people understand that he is not even something like normal when you take it as a human, one or two or three or this stuff. He is more great than to say I. So, so you got Allah. We, ah, so uh, Allah, he don't find himself yeah. great enough by being I, so he use we, which is a fake we, because either he is many or he is one. So I use fake we to make people respect me to understand, I'm not like anyone, I am we. But this is the language people they use, the ones who they are so much proud about themselves, uh, arrogant, false people, you know, they say we, unless I'm speaking like now, I say, hey guys, we are going to do this, which means I have uh, people here we're all together. So if Allah is one and he is using we to look majestic, that means Allah don't feel confident with the word I, so he say we, which is a fake we. In the Bible, if God of the Christian says we, and the God of the Bible teach on the Christian belief that God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, if that word we is used, that there makes sense, but here doesn't make sense, for this is a fake we. So look what happened. We have fake we, we have fake creators, we have fake how the baby is created, and it's still both of you, you said to me, Islam is the true religion. Okay, maybe Umayya has something to say. I think I want to attempt to answer this, uh, and in no way do I think that this is what all of uh, what all Muslims or even some Muslims believe. But I think it's because this uh, specific ayah is in uh, Bakia, meaning it uh, came down when uh, Muhammad was still in Mecca, and back then, especially around this time, this, they're still trying to disprove of the other creators, aka the uh, fake uh, fake gods of the Quran. If you don't mind, Umayya, if you don't mind, don't move your microphone, make a noise. Somebody make, somebody moving his mic, make a noise, I don't know which one. I uh, it was had okay. Okay. So yeah, it was basically, it's uh, uh, one of the Surah Makiya. So he's saying, meaning I am the best of creators, yes, world, of the creators that you, you people have, you know, those fake uh, statues. Almost, it's almost like saying, almost being sarcastic. This is also like the very beginning stages of, uh, uh, of Islam. So a lot of these ayahs, you will notice, have almost like they're very specific. When, when, somebody, not, when somebody is saying something, can you get me where you get this from? That Allah being sarcastic. Oh, I, this is absolutely not from like some learned person. This is, uh, so you are making me, your own. You are make, yeah, you are making your own, but this is not true. Because, oh, yeah, yeah. because if Allah is saying, you see, you speak Arabic, it says Ahsan. Correct? Yes. Okay. Ahsan mean in Arabic, Hassan is one of the names of uh, your prophet's grandsons, correct? Uh, I yes. saw my prophet sign a pagan. Uh, are, you a, are you a Muslim or not? No, I'm still a pagan. I worship a letter of Islam. So, my friend, you know, thank you. We want a Muslim to join us, and uh, thank you for that. Yes, however, I, however, that's all I can say. I, I'm not debating uh, this. That's all I know, but I, I cannot ask this question to uh, the proper uh, scholars because, as you know, they would not like these kinds of questions. All right. So we go back to Hatim or to Strawberry if they would like to join. So Hatim, what yeah. is your? Did you search the internet to find an answer? No, I didn't actually. But uh, it seems so clearly that uh, the Quran speaks in in, in fact, I have a surprise for you. Your prophet, he stole that sentence okay. from a guy whose name is Abdullah ibn Sarah. Abdullah ibn Sarah, he was the scribe of your prophet. And then, when your prophet was reading until he arrived here, he said, فَكَسَوْنَ الْعِظَامَ لَحْمًا ثُمَّ أَنْشَأْنَاهُ خَلْقًا آخَرًا 
Muhammad he stopped. Abdullah ibn Sarah, he continues saying, Fatabarakallahu Ahsanul Khaliqin. Blessed be Allah, the best of the creators. Here you notice that there's a mistake in the sentence. It cannot be from a person who is prophet of God. Because if Allah is talking, how Allah says, Blessed be Allah, that is silly. Allah blessing Allah, what does that mean? And then the best of the creators is more silly because there's only one creator supposedly and using the word Ahsan is the same as in English we say good, uh, better, and best. So here is not even best, is better. That is even more silly. And here in the same time, the Muslim reference in their books says that this man, when he heard this, he said to Muhammad, but I am the one, Muhammad, uh, this guy Abdullah, is the one who said that. He said to Muhammad, he says, but it's me who said that prophet. The prophet, he said, well, you know what? It came to me is the same it came to you. So the guy, he said to himself, if Muhammad claiming to be a prophet, and I received the Quran before him, well, you know what? I am a prophet too. <laughs> and he decided to leave Islam. And I will show you the reference so you don't say, I am making things up. Uh, here we go. I'm going to post the link. And this uh -huh. is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Uh, yes. and, and you know Arabic, correct? So you have no excuse to say, oh, it doesn't say that, or etc. So here you will oh, see... It does. Huh? You're 100% correct. No, no, you're 100% correct. It does say that, yes. Nobody nobody denies this. Yeah, I want Hadim to confirm. confirm. That's why I'm showing him. So there's a yeah, other, other verse in the Quran that says, Woman, uh, 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 So this is, a, this is a verse to refute or to answer Abdullah ibn Surah, who said, look what happened. I am the one who said the sentence and Muhammad put it in the Quran. And here you will find it says, speaking about Abdullah ibn Surah, uh, and I, I'm going to use Google Translation, but you, for you, you do not need Google Translation. You speak Arabic, Hatem. I will post the link so you can open it in your side. And then here it says, I will use Google Translation. Okay, well done. Uh, Let me translate. Yeah, right. Using Google Translation here. Here we go. And let us hear it for those who do not know Arabic. But those who know Arabic, they do not need the translation. And this is again the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. What is meant is Abdul Mabanami S.A.R.H. who used to write the revelation to the messenger of God. May God bless him and grant him peace. Then he apostatized and joined the polytheists. The reason for this, as mentioned by the commentators, is that when the verse in the believers was revealed, then he created man from a lineage of clay, who's the prophet, and God bless him and grant him peace, called and dictated to him. When we included this statement, then we created him as another creation. Abdullah was amazed at the detail of man's creation and said, Blessed be God, the best of creators. The messenger of God, may God bless him and grant him peace, said, Thus, it was revealed to me. Abdullah then doubted and said, If Muhammad is truthful, then it was revealed to me as it was revealed to him, and if he is a liar, then I have said as he said. He abandoned Islam and joined the polytheists. Do you see it? There's no way this guy, as you see, he was amazed by the Quran. So he is not a bad person. He is a Muslim. He is close to Muhammad. He is the scribe of Muhammad. Muhammad, he took a sentence. He said, he liked it. It fit perfectly in the place he liked. And he added to the Quran. And all of this is where? This is in your books. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Yes, correct. And uh, we are showing here the chapter of Al-An'am, verse number 83. As it's 93, sorry. And this is the reference for it. And we can find it in different books too. 
So how that can be? You know, I feel sorry for the Muslim when he tried to defend such a such a cult. All of this is wrong. The way the baby is made is wrong. The you know the idea of Allah is Ahsan. You know, I mean that is funny. I if I compare, imagine I compare myself to a kid and I say I can run better than him. That's silly. You know, I mean it's not even fair. You have to compare between two adults. You don't compare. Let us say I uh, you know like. I uh, I am to I'm I'm proud because I'm taller than someone. He is just an infant. That is even more stupid. So this is God. He is comparing himself to whom? To creators. It was just a sentence. Abdullah, who became an apostate, exposed Muhammad with. But but this. But when you are saying like this point of uh, the best of the creators, like there is many creators, and you find it, it doesn't make any sense that it just it should be like only one God. You are blowing blowing up the Christianity too. Why? Really? Why? Because you know in the Christianity they believe too there is uh, three gods in one. Okay. Can you show me? Can you show me? Uh, can you show me one verse in the Bible that says we believe in three gods? If you can show me that, you know, you are right then. We don't believe in three gods. So in a Christianity, we believe in one God. And the Trinity, the Trinity is three person, one God. If you don't like the idea of three God, or sorry, three person, and one God, then you are designing God as you wish. What if your God says to you, well, I am four. Are you going to reject? No, you accept. You know, you blindly you accept whatever the Quran say. Like, we never heard a Muslim making fun. One, my friend. So it's not about how many; it's about what God say. If you believe in Him, if if the, if gods are millions, I cannot change the number. They are millions. Either I believe they are true God or they are false gods. So when you speak about logic, well, when Allah He speak, you see the Muslim when they want they want logic. When they want, there is no logic. Logic is their enemy. The second they use it, it's against you know. I'm not asking you now about how many Allah. In fact, this is proof there's many Allah. The Bible says everything created by him and for him. No Christian will believe now that we have many gods. So we have one God. You, when you say there's other creators, that means not everything created by him. There's other creators. Otherwise, me comparing myself to others is a false comparison. It's an insult. When we ask Muslims, okay, Allah have a shin. How Allah, why Allah is the same? Oh, his shin is not like yours. The Quran says nothing like Allah. Okay? But if nothing like Allah, why Allah compare himself to others? According to Muhammad, some we can find in the Quran, some we can find in the Hadith. Allah have five fingers. Okay, why you have five fingers? Like you yourself, you said to me, you should not believe that Allah is a physical, but Allah is physical in Islam. Allah is very physical. Allah have a foot. Allah have five fingers, Allah have two hands, and both of them they are located in the right side of his, of his, his shoulder. Allah have a face, Allah have a back, Allah have a shin. Uh, uh, I mean, if all of this, Allah have two eyes. So Allah is very physical. But when they want, they say to us, they why you believe that God is a physical being? But they forgot that their God himself is a physical being. Yeah, yes, yes, there is verses that speaks about, especially in the Hadith, speaks about the shape of God. And, uh, yes, yeah. Not only in the Hadith, how Allah created Adam, He says, Be a day, correct? But by two hands. He used the word a day. Two hands. Right? Sure. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah, yeah, well. so, uh, uh, so, when the Muslim, they reject the physical, and then Allah, he compared himself, obviously he is comparing himself physically too. Like, uh, actually the Quran compared Allah to a tree. Is the, Korea, is, is the tree, is a, uh, you know, is physical? Yes. He compared his light to a, you know, a, what they call it? Uh, in, in English, I'm trying to find the word. Let me find. Uh, like uh, the light of. Notch like a like a, a candle in a notch, you know. So uh, uh, 
Allah himself is comparing himself to a tree. Allah, he compare his light, how it's light, as a, a oil, olive oil. So, when we, when we ask the question for Muslims about Allah, how he look like, what he is made of, they say, no, 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 we cannot talk about it, it's it haram. It's forbidden to compare. Look, look, what are you talking about? Allah, he compare himself to a tree. What? 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 No, but you say you, you say we cannot compare Allah to anything, but Allah Himself compare Himself to things, things literally things, not even not even living uh, human being or things, tree, you know, candle. It's in the middle, olive oil. So, if Allah compare Himself to things which we use by our in our homes at that time. Why Muslim can tell us who is Allah? If I ask right now, Hadim, Allah have hands, have a shin, have a face, and you agreed it's physical. The shin of Allah, the hand of Allah, the fingers of Allah is made of what? All right. Uh, is the shin of Allah Connected to Allah? So now we can draw Allah because we have shin, we have a foot, we have uh, two hands on the right side, we have a face, but we don't have any speaking that Allah have a bum. So now we can draw Allah and then we will have a very funny, weird creature head connected to a shoulder two hands on the right side which is weird and then right away there's no butt there's no waist right away there's shin there's no even leg there's shin shin and foot i didn't know anything about this god didn't know what he is didn't know how he's made it from didn't know why. Like why allah even have five fingers you see when we say, okay, Jesus, he came to us, and he was a man. But the man, he would have a look of a man. So, the normal thing is for him to have five fingers, not six, not seven, not ten. So, why Allah have five fingers? No answer. Why Allah have a shin? No answer. Why Allah have a face? No answer. What if Allah have a face, that means he have a back. How the Muslims understand Allah? They don't. Allah is just unknown God. The word Allah is not even a name. It is two words. La is the real name. Al is the word God. Allah, the moon God. You don't know even what, if I ask you, Hatim, what Allah means, you don't know. Because this is a word stolen from other culture, other religion. And you have no idea. All the names in the Quran, in fact, are stolen. Like if I ask a Muslim right now, what Isa mean? Hey, Hatim, what Isa mean? You don't know. A lot of Muslims are told not to ask these questions. Yeah, but we are That's asking Hatim. Problem. Maybe he can, maybe he know, maybe he's better. Hatim, do you know what Isa mean? You don't. Probably for us, it means Jesus. It means Jesus. Yeah. No, no, no. For what Jesus, my friend. Well, come on. What Isa mean? What Isa, the name, the name, the word, what Isa mean? Every name have a meaning. But because Muhammad is a thief, sure, he, is, sure. he is stealing words, he don't know what they mean. Okay, the Quran says Israel. I saw the video of, uh, uh, what his name, Didat. He was debating a Christian minister, and he said to him, your God, he wrestled, he's, you know, uh, with, the, with, the, with Jacob, but then the idiot, he did not know that the word Israel, proving that the story, so why we have it in the Quran? So the Muslim, they make fun of the Bible saying, how, how your book have such a thing? But the story in the Quran proved, proved immediately by having the word Israel written there, because that's what Israel means. But because they are ignorant, do not know what the word means, they make fun of stories in the Bible. If I ask Hatim right now, and I ask all the Muslims are watching, how many we have? We have thousands of people watching. Who is a Muslim can tell me who is Israel? 
Who is this guy, Israel? Jacob. Jacob. How do you know, Strawberry? Good answer. Who is? Where are you? Where did you get this from? I read the Bible. My mom's in. Uh, Thank you very history. much. So the Quran is not a book of guidance because you cannot find out who is this guy unless you go to the Bible. That is completely true. Yes. So how we can find out if the Quran is the book of guidance? I mean, this is silly. Shouldn't he say, okay, hold on, this guy Jacob, now we will call him from now on Israel, and we need to explain why. We can't just jump from Jacob to Israel without telling people who is this guy. How a person who do not know who is this Israel, that this is Jacob. So the Quran is a book of fairy tales, stories from others. Some they are true, but still they are fairy tales. Why? Because Muhammad, he add spies to them, and they become more funny and more stupid. So if I want, if I'm writing my book now, I have my, I have my books. Uh, or many of you get my books already. So if somebody, I mention the word, uh, uh, let's say I give a name, uh, uh, Shankakut. Shankakut said, okay, well, who is Shankakut? Shouldn't you give inter, you know, introduction? And you are God who is making the Quran supposedly perfect, and the Muslim they keep saying that the Quran is explained by Allah Himself. And who can explain the Quran better than Allah? And they say to us that the Quran written by the best, the, the author of the Quran is Allah. Huh? But then when we read the Quran, we will find that this is the most confusing book, full of scientific errors, historic errors, language errors, funny Arabic. Uh, 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 sentence have no meaning, repeated sentences with no reason. And the second we ask question, they said to you, you cannot ask those questions. Chapter 5, verse 101 says, ask no questions. Verse 102 says, why? Because generation before you, they asked the same question and they left us now. And now when we ask the Muslims, how we can follow Allah if Allah is the best of the creators? Let us say he is the best of the creators. Still, I can follow other creators. <laughs> Who cares? This is a I big mean, problem Muslims have, that they are not allowed to ask a lot of questions. They are always shut down. They have yeah. more questions and you know, than answers. And what kind of God he is saying he is the best between the worst? <laughs> you know what I mean? Best of all. Yeah, he is the best between the worst. Because if I say right now, a Muslim, he would come to you, he would try to be smart. He says, okay. You create a computer. Mm -hmm. That is the worst. Because I'm, I'm, co I'm compared now to God. You don't compare God to a human being. He is an idiot. He makes mistakes. He commits sin. Everything about him is wrong. So now he makes a computer. Suddenly I compare Allah to him. And this is not a creation. The Quran says, that the creation is only the one who give life. Only. This is not an idea. It's about giving soul and life. The Quran says they worship, they worship someone. Why do you worship? Why do you worship someone? Cannot even create a fly. A fly. So when we use the word the creators. That means they can create flies, at least. Well, that will not change anything that they are creating. Yeah. In fact, creating a fly is extremely, extremely complicated. Like now, all scientists in the world, they cannot and they will never be able to make an airplane or a spaceship can fly like the fly. The fly can land on the wall, can land in the ceiling, can land anywhere, have a very different speed and different direction, confuse you, you try to catch it, you go, it's in the front of you, you move your hand, it's right away in the front there. it's extremely powerful. So fly is not really an easy creation. So if they, if they, while you worship someone, he cannot even create a fly, well hold on. Jesus in the Quran, he can create from the mother bird. So if the one who created a fly is worthy of worship, then Jesus the Christ, our Lord, 
is absolutely worthy of worship, for he created according to the form a bird from the mud, and he breathed into it. He, not Allah, which means the creator of souls is Jesus. And then the bird is alive. I have a question for you. Go ahead, Hadi. You don't want to make a comment about what I said? No, what you said is completely correct and it's true. All what you are saying. Okay. Truly. The question is, if, like, if you want to say, like, the Holy Quran is like an enemy for all, all, all the other religious, and it's the only, uh, the only right book, but why you find like the mention to the son of Mary, like he's so holy in Quran, and the stories speak about Jesus in very, very holy way. Understand what I mean, my friend? I think the Quran is not any for Jesus and for the Christians in the way they think. He's so holy. There is many verses speaks about Jesus, the son of uh, Mary, and all this stuff. All Understand right. what I mean? All right. Right. Hey, Christians, is it true? Is it true that in the Bible, demon, evil spirit, they recognize Jesus that he is the Son of God? Is that true? So even demon, Satan's, evil spirits, they recognize Jesus. They said to him, What do we have to do with you, O Son of God? And this can be found in Matthew 8. So Satan recognizing that Jesus is holy is not the reason to believe in the book of Satan because Satan, in order to put poison for you, he have to put, put some good food in it. If I want to kill a rat, I'm not going to put my poison in something the rat will not eat. Same for the human. If I want to kill a human, I will put my poison in the best of his food. Like your prophet, when a Jewish woman, she put poison for him, she asked which part of the goat your prophet liked to eat. They said the shoulder. So she put the poison there. So if you say to me that there is some truth in your Quran, like Mary is virgin, that is just to deceive you more, not to make you a believer. Because what the point of Mary being a virgin? And what the point of this miracle in Islam? Nothing. In Christianity, it makes sense. Jesus is the son of no man. But in Islam, there's no point. Who can prove my mother now she can claim that she gave birth to me and she was a virgin? Who can prove it? Who can disapprove it? Nobody. This is not a miracle to see. This is not a miracle to witness. This is a miracle you believe in. And there's no point of it in Islam. Only in Christianity, it makes sense. So when Allah, like the devil, recognized Jesus, will we know that even look, even your Quran says that Shaitan is a Muslim? Is that true, Hatim? About Shaitan, like he's a Muslim? Yeah. Actually, I don't, I, I don't know. Let us see. According to the Quran. Allah deceived the shaitan and shaitan he worship Allah. Yeah. Chapter 15 verse number 39. So Iblis, Satan, he said, Oh my Lord. Did he call him Oh my Lord? He did, right? In Arabic, قَالَ yeah, رَبِّي huh? You worship him. You misled me. Yeah, true. Okay. So shaitan is a good person in Islam, and he's a Muslim. What kind of logic this logic is? So who is Satan then? Allah is Satan. إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُفْتِي مَنْ يَشَاءُ يَقُلُّ مَنْ يَشَاءُ Exactly, Allah, he mislead who he will, deceive who he will, and he guide who he will. But even the one who guide, the, the one who can, the one who guide, what he do? He 
make him believe that if he kill his neighbor, he will go to heaven. It will make his endless pe penis endless. This is the guided one. <laughs> this is who? This is the guided one. And you will have a wife. Her butt is one mile. This is who? The guided uh, one. And yes, the guided, yes. And the guided one believed that the sun set in a spring of burning water. And the guided one, they believe that there's Gog and Magog behind the dam. And the guided one, they believe that Muhammad, he went to heaven, but there are no witnesses. And the guided one, they believe how the baby is made, which is very funny and very silly. Or even the guided one, they believe that women have a sperm coming from her ribs, which is absolutely beautiful. I thought women, they have rest, they turn to be testicles. And we, I have to say uh, that women boys funny. are way bigger than ours. It's, it's uh, you can say it's the will of God. Everything, it's about the will of God and the destiny, all this stuff. It's the God choice. So if the God wants you to be a Muslim, you will be a Muslim. If God he doesn't want you to be a Muslim, you will not be able to be. Thank you very much. It's the choice you're just, of the God. You're just, God. You're just destroyed this yes. time. What kind of a crazy religion this religion is. So now I am a Christian prince because Allah, he wanted me to be a Christian prince. So he made me go live on air. Yeah. Find yeah. the error in the Quran. Look at him and make people leave Islam. And then you say to me, this is Allah will. That's silly. And then Allah will punish me because he made me become a Christian prince. <laughs> you see? That, truly yes. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I know, I know truly yes, but my friend, but how the Muslim they say Allah is all about justice? What is justice? Uh, truly, the God speaks about justice in the, in the Holy Quran, but you know, like there is a story about the, the Prophet Muhammad when his uncle was dying. He was dying and he came to him and say, oh my uncle, he was, he was unbeliever. The uncle of Muhammad was unbeliever. He uh -huh. didn't follow uh, Muhammad. Yeah. He said to him, he Are you going to guide the one who Allah is guide? Yeah, Allah said to him, Are you going to guide the one who Allah is guide? Right? Right, correct. <laughs> so who yes. is who is the one who must guide the uncle of Muhammad? Who was a good man supposedly, right? Allah. He was a good was man, a good man, but, the, the but he had no way he will. Hold on, I mean, Muhammad if Allah, comes to if Allah, he, he, Allah, saying to, to Muhammad, yes. okay, your uncle will not believe because I mislead him. So what, what, you know, how, what kind of religion this religion is? The uncle of Muhammad was yes, a very good man to him. God. He was a very good man to him. He took care of him. And Muhammad, as you see, he was crying, say, hey, uh, uncle, uh, say, say shahada, say shahada before you die. And the guy refused. So, and now you are saying to me, okay, well, yeah. you know what? Allah, he is the one who misled the uncle of Muhammad. And are you going to guide the one who Allah yeah. misguided? But this is mean Allah is shaitan. Because who is the one who misguided Islam? Allah. It's not shaitan. Shaitan is jobless in Islam. Truly, yes. yes. I, I, I will be... Listen, listen. I will be so honest with you and say to you that in the Holy Quran, in the verses of the Quran, speaks about the God will. Everything eats by the choice of the guide. Even the people who they are unbelievers, who they don't believe in God, who they don't believe in God at all, like an atheist people. Uh, and the Holy Quran says it's the God will. When the God wants you to be a believer, you will. If the God says he doesn't want you to be a believer, you will not be able to be a believer. But it's, uh, it's the will of God, truly. To be honest with you. Yeah, but my friend, this is, first of all, uh, the, the, the idea of penalty, if it's happened for someone, I force him to do something, that's evil. Because if I punish you, or doing something which I force you to do is evil, is double evil. First time I made you do it, like a, second time I'm, I'm punishing you for doing Christians. it. Okay, does Christians believe in destiny or not? No, we don't. Do you believe in destiny? No, we don't. Destiny for us, if we, the word destiny appear in the Bible, but it's not about, uh, you know, what you do. As an example, uh, when Adam, he was a created. God said to him, if you disobey and you eat from this tree, you will die. If you don't, you will stay. So 
here there's a there's a choice if we can call it destiny one of two where what do you want to stay heaven or out choose so we cannot say the word destiny because destiny in the way muslim they, they, they believe in it as you say it anything you do it was decision made by allah so even muhammad he, he explained that about adam well yes so in christianity we don't believe and right. we will never believe that adam was forced to commit sin otherwise if adam was forced to commit sin then it's not god god cannot be god then because this is evil so allah or, or my god he forced uh, uh, adam to commit sin and then he will punish him for committing sin throw him out of the heaven how stupid is that that's not fair so you're a prophet he said and you know the hadith maybe that when adam uh, adam and moses They debated Adam he says to Moses sorry Moses says to Adam uh, because of you we are out of heaven Adam he says to Moses are you blaming me for a sin which I did which is ordained which is my faith which is a destiny to do do you blame me for an action which Allah written in my faith 40 years before my creation? Your prophet